but sneaking out like this, quitting. You'll regret it for the rest of your life. Baseball is what gets inside you. It just got too hard. It's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. Yes! Yes, exactly. If it wasn't hard, everyone would be doing it. What's going on, Flix Talkers? Welcome back to another movie reaction. This time, my first time watching 1992's A League of Their Own. Now, I'm not sure if it is or not, guys, but this does look like a summer movie to me, and we are in the beginning of summer 2022. Either way, I've been wanting to watch this movie for such a long time, and a lot of people on the channel have been requesting it. And I literally know two things about this movie baseball and tom hanks now i absolutely love tom hanks guys so it's gonna be awesome discovering a new movie that i haven't seen from him and before i do get into watching this movie you guys let me know down in the comments below what other tom hanks movies are your favorites all right so enough talking let's get to watching but before we do if you guys want to show love to the channel make sure to hit that big thumbs up and consider subscribing today to join the flicks talk family and if you guys want to go a step further with your generosity make sure to hit that super thanks button down below all right flicks talkers without further ado 1992's elite League of their own. Oh wow, Gina Davis. Madonna? I haven't seen too many films with Madonna in it. You might need that. It was one of those cartons that came over after. I'm not going. Oh, Mom. Why is it so important that I go? Oh, well, for one thing, it'd be nice if you just left the room. Oh. Besides, these are your old- John Lovitz? Sorry, guys, I'm like, <laughs> when I see a good cast, I just gotta yell it out loud. <laughs> I I'm not comfortable about this. I'm not really part of it. It was never that important to me. It was just something I did. Mom, when are you gonna realize how special it was? How much it all meant? Dang, now I want to know, where the heck are they going? Rosie O'Donnell? I know she did a couple of movies back in the day, I just never seen them really. Now and Then, that was a good one. Now remember, no matter what your brother does, he's littler than you are. So give him a chance to shoot, promise? Yeah. Okay. Someone didn't teach his kids about double dribble though, huh? On Zimmer, man, this is a stack cast. Awesome composer. Okay. Sorry, guys, I gotta muffle this music because I'll get copyright claimed. The ladies have arrived. Ooh, she smacked that thing. Oh, I miss playing baseball, man. Oh, she's feeling a uh, nostalgia. Baseball pitches in for the war effort. Meanwhile, Chicago club owner Walter Harvey, the candy bar king, as rumors persist that baseball may be shut down for the duration of the war. Oh. Harvey's promotional whiz kid, Iro Lowenstein, has been given the job of figuring out how to keep baseball going. Introduced to our conflict a little early in the movie. So women's baseball is already a thing. I didn't, I thought this might've been like the birth of women's baseball. Once again, I'm not a historian. I've said it before. I don't know anything about anything. <laughs> oh, I could tell she's a little hothead. I do like Gina Davis, even though I crapped on a, a long kiss goodnight. I like Gina Davis. Oh, oh. Daddy, you did it. Into the cornfield. Hey, kid, what are you swinging those high ones for? A good thing your sister bailed you out. <laughs> don't... She's living in her sister's shadow. In the 1940s, living on a farm, <laughs> milking the cows, <laughs> living that real country life. Hey. Doesn't that hurt them? Doesn't seem to. That would bruise the hell out of me. 
I'm Ernie Cappadino. I'm a baseball scout. I saw you playing today. You ever hear Walter Harvey makes Harvey bars? Yeah, I feed them to the cows when they're constipated. That's the guy. He's starting a girls' baseball league. So we can make a buck while the boys are overseas. Tryouts are in Chicago. It's a real league, professional. Professional baseball? Mm-hmm. You not only play ball, but you're kind of a dolly. That's what we're looking for. Oh, oh, now I get it. I'm a married woman. My husband's overseas. Oh, relax. I'm talking looky, no touchy. I'm ready. I'm ready right now. I gotta sign something. I don't want you. I want her. <laughs> you can climb back under the cow. Damn. She's good. She's very good. <laughs> hey, no skin off my ash, Tabula. You want to stay here plucking cows? That's your business. So long, milkmaids. <laughs> John Lovitz, man. He's crazy. He's a character. Now, look. I know the goods when I see the goods. I'm sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Will you shut up? <laughs> she must have had some guns on her. <laughs> if she comes, you can come too. But can't you just have this first? Something special? Huh? Please, Dottie. I gotta get out of here. Mm. That's her ticket out? Well, at least... Her sister's take it out. Dottie kind of seems fine with where she's at, but her younger sister ain't got nothing right now. At least feels like she doesn't have anything. That'll make anybody want to run away. I've never seen trains that have that kind of furniture inside. It's like Lazy Boys. I'm sure you guys are going to leave it in the comments, but I've never seen something like that. Oh, heck no. <laughs> Talk about a late entrance, huh? What kind of shoes they got on, I wonder? They gotta be wearing flats. <laughs> we gotta make a stop, Fort Collins, Colorado. Gotta look at another girl. Never seen people play baseball inside of a gymnasium. Good, good. She could smack it. Okay, Marla. Now, lefty. Uh, you gotta be proficient in both right and left, huh? I'm a lefty. All right, that's enough. You can bring her over here. Oh. oh, we'll let you know. Oh, he ain't right. Danny, oh, I'm sorry. That's so jacked up. What's the matter? Who cares what she looks like? She's great. Why not? What's the problem? You know General Omar Bradley? Well, there's two strong resemblance. <laughs> All right, honey. You mean you ain't taking her because she ain't pretty? I know my girl ain't so pretty as these girls. But that's my fault. I raised her like a little boy. She loves to play. Don't make my little girl suffer because I messed up raising her. That's a good father right there. He believed in her. Nothing's ever gonna happen here. You gotta go where things happen. I love you, Daddy. Sometimes you just have to jump and see what happens. Got me a little choked up right there. Okay, girls, this is it. Tryouts. Wait, you're going? Yeah, I'm just going home. Grab a shower and a shave. Give the wife a little pickle tickle, and I'm on my way. I'll see you. Pickle tickle? I hate when they get attached to me like that. <laughs> hey, mate. What? Come here and look at this. Wait a second, Doris. Oh, dang. Staten Island, baby. You can tell that accent. What are you looking at? Yeah, what are you looking at? All these girls gonna be in the league? They're gonna have four teams. Sixteen girls to a team. That's right. Some of you are gonna have to go home. It's what do you mean, some of us? Do it. <gasps> How did you do that? Excuse me. Hey. And now, the most disgusting example of this sexual confusion, women's baseball. Right here in Chicago, young girls plucked from their families. Plucked from their families like they were... <laughs> like they were taken as slaves or something. Damn, that media, man. Let's see who's getting cut. Who's got a one-way ticket back home? Oh, come on. Be here. 
Oh, I thought that was the, the third girl they found. Uh, can you read, honey? No. All right. What's your name? Shirley Baker. Shirley Baker. There she is. This is you. You're with us. You're Rockford Peach. <laughs> oh, how happy and how sad. You all have to get fitted for your uniform. And this is what they're gonna look like. Pretty darn nifty, if you ask me. How about that, Billy? Slide in that? I like it. Hey, that's a dress. It's half a dress. Excuse me, that's not a. Is that a joke? <laughs> Man, I know what they're trying to do, but come on now. Each of you will have regular classes at Charm and Beauty School. For what? Every girl in this league is going to be a lady. I mean, dang, this was the 40s, man. I gotta. I gotta put myself in that mindset. Without being a man from that time. <laughs> but this is outrageous, though. This is outrageous. A sign of the times. Down. Look at Rosie O'Donnell grubbing. <laughs> the eyebrows thin and separate. There should be two. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've seen that actress. Was that T. Leone? What do you suggest? A lot of night games. Oh, <laughs> damn, everybody's got a, a joke for her ass, man. Jimmy, come on. There he is. Throwing you around. Let me be blunt. Are you still a fall down drunk? No, sir. I've, uh, I've quit drinking. You've seen the error of your ways. No, I just can't afford it. <laughs> You're a young man, Jimmy. You still could be playing. If you just would have laid off the booze. Mm. Look, Jimmy, I want you to manage one of the new girls' baseball teams. Don't look so stunned. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get him to sign my husband's baseball card. Oh! If anything happens to that card, George will come all the way back from the Pacific and kill me. Oh, hell, is he drunk already? Oh, look at Madonna. She's like, she's like, let me take a, <laughs> let me take another look. <laughs> Could be a record. Oh. 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 That counts. How long? Can you sign my husband's baseball card for me? Oh, no. Oh, that was, that was hella rude. They came just to make fun of him? That's bullshit. Yeah, you go, girl. <laughs> I like that. They're not taking any shit. <laughs> nice piece of coaching, Jimmy. I especially like that move in the fifth inning when you scratched your balls for an hour. Now, Jimmy, you have some pretty good ball players here. If you only give them a little bit of your ball players, I haven't got ball players. I've got girls. Girls who want to sleep with after the game, and I don't know what you coach during the game. What the? F Helen Haley has not only been a member of several championship amateur teams; she's also an accomplished coffee maker. <laughs> Then there's pretty Dottie Henson, who plays like Gehrig and looks like Garbo. Uh-uh, fellas, keep your mitts to yourself. She's married. <laughs> and how about Marla Hooch? What a hitter. <laughs> they, they kept her way away from the camera, man. That's, that is so messed up. <laughs> I just spoke to my husband last night. And he says that I can't leave her son with him at home anymore. And, and, um, I should just take him with me and shut up about it. So can I take, take my son with me on road trips? <laughs> oh, he's a little devil. <laughs> oh, crap. He's hopped up in all that chocolate, man. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh. Yeah, good parenting. Can't be here. No, please. Yeah. No. 
Help. Oh! He threw a dirt pile right in her mouth. Mr. Dugan. Mr. Dugan! Oh, what is it, baby? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> oh, dang. In the 43 years I've been practicing medicine, I never saw a woman throw up that much. Oh, poor lady. They just want to go out and cut a rug, but damn, they did her dirty. Mate, what did you give her? Oh, no. Oh, God. <laughs> She's not used to that attention. Yeah, that's a happening party. Uh oh, they're fighting over her. <laughs> oh my god, they are not slowing down. For the ride, kid. What's your rush, doll, buddy? What do you say we slip in the back seat and you make a man out of me? <laughs> what the heck was that about? <laughs> Damn, turn up. Oh, listen, it's Lowenstein. He's on his way here. He catches us. We're out of the league, okay? All right, all right. Let's make like a bread truck and haul buns, ladies. Let's make like a bread truck and haul buns. Thinking of you. Oh, she could sing, huh? Some others I've seen. Or maybe not. <laughs> it had to be you. Wonderful you. She got her eye on somebody. That's the second time you dropped that Bible since she's been in there. Oh, she's a bad one. <laughs> Papa don't preach. Send it in the third. Cut. <coughs> she's in there with a triple. No wonder they call her all the way May. <laughs> all the way May? <laughs> I don't think they call her that for that reason. <laughs> Just that little moment right there. He eased up from scratching his balls half drunk to actually participating in the game. I was gonna ask, they still got that little brat with them? <laughs> well, I was just wondering why you would throw home when we've got a two run lead and we lost the lead because of you. Now you start using your head. That's that love that's three feet above your ass. Damn, shoot her out in front of everyone. <laughs> Are you crying? No. There's no crying. There's no crying in baseball. Rogers Hornsby was my manager, and he called me a talking pile of pig shit. And did I cry? No, no. No! And you know why? No. Because there's no crying in baseball. There's no crying in baseball! What? She's crying, sir. Perhaps you chastise her too vehemently. Good rule of thumb. Treat each of these girls as you would treat your mother. Ooh. You want to ever tell you look like a penis with a little hat on? Oh! You're out of here! Oh, no, right no, no, now, no, Jimmy, I... Right now! You're out of here, buddy! You're out of here! <laughs> There's a, a reporter and a photographer in the a reporter and a photographer in the stands from Life magazine. Uh, Dottie, I'm trying to get them to do a story about you. Me? Because you're the queen of diamonds. That's what I'm calling you. Will you just try to give them something spectacular out there? To, uh, I don't know, uh, anything. <laughs> what, why? What's the matter? Well, May, we're not doing so well. Uh, they're talking about closing you down. What? Yeah. What are you talking about? Closing what down? I 
Then what am I supposed to do, huh? Go back to taxi dancing? Ten cents so some slob can sweat gin all over me? I'm never doing that again. So you go back there and you tell old rich Mr. Chocolate Man that he ain't closing me down. Mmm. That seemed like some real emotion right there from Madonna. Okay, burn it in. Is that okay? They're gonna have to put on a show or something or look alive. I don't know. Oh, Henson should have no trouble with this. She's under it. What a shot! What a shot! I had never seen that before. <laughs> what is her name? Her name is Dottie Henson. D O T T I. She got the cover. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> you gotta throw some gimmicks in there, huh? All these sailors. <laughs> Uh-oh. Got some heat, girl. She married that guy from the bar? And... Yikes. The crowds are growing. That's awesome, man. That's cool. You know, if, uh, if he's in combat, it's not like there's a mailbox in every corner. Besides, if something had happened, you would have got one of those telegrams. Oh, God, that was... Oh, but he's fine. No, he's fine. How come you're not in the army? I have no cartilage. In my knee. Not that you need cartilage to shoot Nazis. You need this, right? Trigger finger. Why did I get so useless so fast? Listen, when, uh... Bob. Bob comes back, are you gonna keep playing? Oh, no. You could just quit like that? Sure. Kit Miller looks mighty tired. Finish it right here. I'll strike this turkey out. Come on, coach. I've never been taken out before. Ask Dottie. What do you think? She's done. She's throwing grapefruits up there. Oh. Blue! Oh! You did a fabulous job, Arthur. I won't forget this. Oh, thank you, Mr. Harvey. Thank you very much. Oh, they're great. Fortunately, we won't need them anymore. We're winning the war. Our situation changed. I mean, Roosevelt himself said, men's baseball won't be shut down. So we won't meet the girls next year. Oh, wow. How are you gonna build all this up and then just drop them? That's not right. This is what it's gonna be like in the factories too, I suppose, isn't it? Men are back, Rosie, turn in your rivets. A patriotic duty to get out of the kitchen and go to work. And now when the men come back, we'll send them back to the kitchen. Do you know how dedicated these girls are and what they go through? They play with sprained ankles, broken fingers. They, they ride a bus sometimes all night to play a doubleheader the next morning. Mr. Harvey, I'd like your permission to take over the league. What? I sold your product when there was no product. This is a product. There is no room for girls baseball in this country once the war is over. What's the matter, kid? You too big to finish your own games now? <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Oh, the fans are still there and the cameras are still there. That's uh, bad press right there for sure. <laughs> All bad. Help! 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 Hey! Cool off. Stay <laughs> down there, you cool off. All I know is you could have backed me up today instead of holding me back. I hold you back. It's like at home. It's like if you're here, then I'm not here. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. I know I'm wrong. I know you're right and I'm wrong. I know that. I just. You, I just get so mad! Why do you gotta be so good? Huh? Still living in that shadow. Why? What, what, I have to uh, go home. Home? I, you can't go home now. No, it's, uh, what's the problem? Uh, maybe I can help. I don't want to talk about it. No. Uh, shit. That's it. Uh, I've noticed there's some friction there, but that, that's fine. That, that's no problem. Doesn't mean you have to quit the league. I, I can arrange a trade. Like, uh, Just uh, trade me or whatever. But... You better figure it out by tomorrow, okay? Otherwise, I'm going home. You wanna go to the movies with me? You wanna go with me? <laughs> Bitch! What? I've been traded to Racine. You? I, I told him to trade me. Oh, yeah, they'd really trade you. Listen. I knew if I did too good, you'd do something to push me down. 
I am so sick of being blamed for everything that's bothering you. I got you into this league, goddammit! You got her into the league. I didn't even want to be here. Kid wants to know why she's still playing. Why is she still why is she still playing? Time has come for one and all to play. I love how he's closing his eyes, that's funny. <laughs> Look at him looking. <laughs> Little devil. No, it's got work that. You gorgeous stack of pancakes, you. God, he's too much. Excuse me? I got a telegram from one of you ladies from the War Department? Oh, no. Tell your husband's dead. Darn, I had the name right here. I can't. I don't have a name on the checklist. You're keeping everybody on edge, man. Come on! That's official business! Who is it? I'm sorry, Betty. No, John! <laughs> No, no, no. He ripped up that card in front of her, man. He ain't coming back. Hi, you cutie. Oh, wow. What did you oh, he got injured in, in duty. Oh, God. It was a sniper. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. Can you my baseball? Sure. There. Wow. Avoid the clap, Jimmy Dugan. Avoid the clap? That's good advice. <laughs> I mean, it is good advice, but that's kind of crazy to put on a kid's baseball. <laughs> She's taken off. You know, I really thought you were a ball player. It is only a game, Jimmy. I have Bob. I don't need this. I don't. I, I gave away five years at the end of my career to drinking. And now there isn't anything I wouldn't give to get back any one day of it. Well, we're different. But sneaking out like this, quitting, you regret it for the rest of your life. Baseball is what gets inside you. It's what lights you up. It just got too hard. It's supposed to be hard. If it wasn't hard, everyone would do it. Yes! Yes, exactly. If it wasn't hard, everyone would be doing it. Sometimes the things that you love are supposed to be hard. It takes a certain type of person uh, to stick it out and fight through that if you really love it. I got two box seats. Who wants them? Hey, who wants one of them? Ten bucks? That's my daughter in there. She's the third baseman. Doris Murphy, the best one they got. Oh, where are you from? Staten Island. I'm going to surprise her. Oh, her pops came. That's cool. What does that smell? Alice thinks it's bad luck to change her socks. So we all have to suffer? Well, stay. Get away. Get away. May yeah. our feet be swift. May our balls be plentiful. <laughs> Alice, you're killing me. You're killing me, Alice! <laughs> you're killing me, Alice! You're killing me, Alice! <laughs> wow, she's playing against him. Oh, this is the ultimate right here. Alice, if Ellen Sue doesn't have anything, you don't keep it a secret, you understand me? You tell me, you tell me right away. Do you hear me? Yeah, you're screaming, I hear you. Oh, what? Well, where did you come from? We're gonna win! <laughs> you're gonna win. You're gonna win. You're gonna win. Oh! <laughs> Got him! He's okay. That was a real kid getting hit in the face with a mitt. <laughs> uh, I got nothing else to say about that. <laughs> the 90s were a different time. <laughs> Still missing the cutoff man. Now that, that, that's something that I would like you to work on before next season. Oh, he's trying to be a better man. <laughs> It looks like it would explode. Tom Hanks is too much in this movie, man. 
Oh my lord. The matchup of the century. Sisters. She ducked that. Uh oh, are they gonna bring her home? Nope, nope, nope. She's safe on the base. That's my wife! Oh, don't break down, Kit. Come on, Kit. You're stronger than that. You are stronger than that. Just keep your head in the game. Keep your head in the game. I know a lot's happened for you in your life, but... Damn. Oh, there you go. I don't know who to root for, but I like Kit, though. I really do. <laughs> Oh, she is having a breakdown. Oh, that's tough. There's no crying in baseball. No crying in baseball. Ooh, right into the dugout. For the love of the game. Ooh, she's not even looking at her. Dottie does not want to let emotion get in front of her. High fastball. Just can't hit him. Can't lay off. Oh, she's looking at life a whole different way right now. She's like, I don't care if that's my blood. I'm here to win. Oh, what a cold stare. She got that one. Ooh, she's hauling ass. Oh, she is running like her life depends on it. Oh, man. Let me ask the question, though. Did she drop it on purpose? I mean, it led on for a great game. It led on for a great game. But she knew that Kit needed that win. Dottie, did you do it, Dottie? <laughs> I need to know. I need to know, Dottie. Did you do it? <laughs> I think she did. You, you, don't. You guys made it. Don't be too upset. You guys made it there, man. The championships. He's got fans now. You want to be a ball player when you get big? Yeah. Yeah? Look, I'm going back to the hotel and then Bob and I are driving back to Oregon. You're welcome to come with us. Well, some of the girls have been talking about staying around here, you know, and getting jobs. I really like it here. I don't know. I, but you're coming back next year, right? No. Uh, I want to have kids. We want to have kids. You couldn't give this up. You'd miss this too much. Miss it? <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll miss. Well, I miss the girls. I miss you, Kit. Me? Yeah, how many sisters do you think I have? I love you, Kit. Life changes in an instant. Doesn't I want you to stay? You're leaving. Thank you for getting me into the league, Dad. <laughs> you got yourself in the league. I got you on the train. Play great. Like you. I love you, and you are going to miss this. I don't care what you say. Yeah. Well, then I'm a, I'm a big fan of yours. He's always cutting himself shaving. <laughs> I'd yeah. love to see you playing ball and the other stuff you used to do. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying that for? You make them feel bad. All right, steak dinner. dinner. All right, on you. Hey, Kit. Lay off of those high ones. Come on, Kit. Come on, Kit. Lay off of those high ones. I like the high ones. Mule. Dottie? It's Dottie. Ah. It's Dottie. Hey, Doris. Oh. May? All the way, May? Gee, no one's called me that since. Last night. Oh, come <laughs> on. I'm a married woman. Dottie? Hmm? Who's that? Is that kid? Is that kid? Marla. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How's Bob? He's. Uh, 
I'm sorry. Oh, damn, he passed. That's life. You're gonna lose. Oh my god. Perfect casting, man. <laughs> Pee wee. <laughs> Where's your mom? Mom died a couple years ago. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I wonder if she regrets it. Like Tom Hanks said, you're gonna regret it. Jimmy Dugan. Oh, she got a big family now. Good casting, by the way, for these two uh, older ladies. So she only played one season, but she's an original peach. I was gonna ask, is this based on a true story? I wonder if these are the real ladies that were part of all this. Damn, they're still running like they're young, dang. Dang girl, okay. All right, <laughs> whatever you want whatever you want to call it. It was a ball, okay, okay. <laughs> and that was 1992, a league of their own. All right, Flick Soccer's now I had a lot of fun with that film, A League of Their Own. It was very, very lighthearted. I really did enjoy it. And I don't really get into sports movies too much unless they have a more of a central message, like, you know, sticking with what you love. I really do like all that, especially developing characters that you kind of, you know, grow to like along the way. Yes, there was conflict. There was conflict between the sisters. There was conflict with the general public not accepting these female baseball players. I just really enjoyed a lot of the situations that were going on even though once again i'm not really a sports movie watcher too much it was fun to see the girls having fun and being very very competitive with the game along with all of the baseball montages i really like seeing that they showed a couple of those along the way and i thought they were extremely fun i thought it added to kind of the excitement of you know the game even if you don't know what's really going on you know calling plays or just certain rules of the game or whatever they made you kind of understand what was going on once again to a layman like me <laughs> now our cast along the way gina davis playing Dottie. I thought she was exceptional. I thought she was awesome. She was very, very believable. She was someone that was conflicted coming from something really that maybe she kind of grew to love along the way. She was very, very good at what she did. I'm talking about playing baseball, but she liked the farm life. But then she was also conflicted because she had a husband who was coming back from war and she felt that her place needed to be back at home when he arrived. But he was supportive when he came back and I think she felt like she needed to do what she needed to do. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, she actually did not go on to complete more seasons. She ended up just the one season and that's totally fine. But her sister, Kit, definitely stuck around for the long haul. I don't know how, once again, I don't really know how true to life this story was. I believe, you know, this has some historical fact as far as women playing baseball that was definitely scrutinized, I'm sure, and during around the 40s era and whatnot. But I don't know if this particular story is rooted in fact. You guys let me know in the comments below. I didn't look it up before, but I'll definitely look it up afterwards as well as the actress that did play kit i thought she was very very good especially when it came to the emotional scenes in that third inning well third act i'm sorry in my mind's on baseball now but that third act of the movie was a very very conflict filled scene once again where you know she's going up against her sister well she's going up against her previous team that her sister is now on her sister is right behind her she feels like the eyes are just piercing through her soul and she's very emotional in that moment but her team's telling her to shake it off i was telling her to shake it off get her head in the game and she ends up winning that game so i thought that was really really cool because it didn't really leave off on what i guess you thought was gonna happen maybe gina davis and the peaches winning it was the opposite team the racing bells which i thought was once again a cool little tip of the iceberg of a story that i would like to see more of if i'm being completely honest so as a whole i thought this movie was done really well didn't even speak on top 
Tom Hanks yet. I thought he was a very, very interesting character, a hard ass, because he needed to be. I feel like, you know, he came from someone that was playing baseball, then getting injured, then becoming a drunk pretty much, and then coaching a woman's baseball team, something of course he was not used to, but he felt like he needed to also talk to these women like the way he used to talk to some of the guys. But you saw along the way, you know, we're different creatures. We're different creatures, you know, and there's no crying in baseball. So I thought that was an awesome line. This movie had a lot of quotable lines, by the way. The writing was very, very good. It was on a comedic aspect as far as like I could see someone that came from a comedy background possibly writing this script because it had a lot of quips, a lot of real and relatable dialogue along the way, as well as some of the situations. And I thought it was a very fun movie, a very heartwarming, once again, very positive, follow your dreams type of story. And for that, guys, I'm going to give 1992's A League of Their Own a solid 4 out of 5. All right, Flix Talkers, what do you think of A League of Their Own? Let me know down in the comments below. What do you rank it out of 5? I would love to hear your thoughts on your favorite moment in the film and what was your favorite part of me reacting to the film. Once again, let me know down in the comments below. And while we're on the note of sports, what are some of your favorite sports movies? I would love to hear them and possibly check them out if I haven't already for the channel. Leave them down in the comments below. And if you guys did appreciate my reaction and thoughts, let me know by liking the video and consider subscribing today to join the Flix Talk family. And if you guys want to go a step further with your generosity consider hitting that super thanks button down below all right guys till next video i'm gone peace